So there are eight uh, people running for commissioner of agriculture. Kinky is the only one who's come out in favor of marijuana legislation. And so, yes, that's who I'm throwing my weight behind. We have, I'm also working with a group called Republicans Against Marijuana Prohibition, RAMP. Texas can go green. It is a red state, but I believe it will go green when we have the conservative um, core backing us. And I believe that will happen. I like that the Republicans, even though they're, they're, they can't be for marijuana, so they have to be against prohibition. I like that. I don't know, we can't be for it. We're going to be against the prohibition. What makes me unique is that I'm the only candidate that's running for any office that is publicly uh, for legalizing pot and hemp in the state of Texas. And the other candidates are refusing even to address the subject. They're not even mentioning whether they think Kinky's crazy or whether they think it's a good idea or not. And the truth is, new ideas like this are very important for Texas to embrace. We should embrace the future. And it might slap us in the face or it might hug us back, but it's what we need to do. I am not a pothead and I'm not even a recreational pot advocate for myself. The only time I ever smoke pot is when I'm with Willie Nelson. Uh, that You have to, it's kind of Texas etiquette. Last time I was with Willie, two months ago in Hawaii, I got so high I, I needed a step ladder to scratch my ass. Well, hemp is a no-brainer. Hemp requires 50% of the water that cotton requires. So if we could convert our cotton crop, which is number one in Texas, number one crop, if we could make hemp the number one crop, we would conserve 50% of the water for all agribusiness in Texas. That would be huge. Hemp also produces two and a half times the fiber of cotton, and it requires zero pesticides, whereas cotton soaks up 25% of all the pesticides in the world. They all go to cotton. So if you present that to a farmer and also tell them that hemp puts nutrients back into the soil, cotton does not. And anyone who's experienced cotton root rot knows that it's like dropping a nuclear bomb on your land. You can't grow anything for years and years. So hemp makes uh, sense in every which way. And China is the number one hemp producing country of the world. And guess who the number one customer is? It's, it's Willie Nelson. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not really. It is, it is America. It's, it's Los Estados so, uh, Unidos. I will tell you right now that Israel is giving pot to uh, patients in hospitals in Tel Aviv. Israel is giving pot to autistic kids, to Alzheimer patients, and to Parkinson's patients. And they are the ones that have already determined that pot kills cancer cells. And I'll make a prediction, and that is that those Israeli scientists and doctors will uh, win the Nobel Prize for Medicine and that it will be the discovery of the century if they can prove that pot kills cancer cells and if they can harness that, 